Booster shots of the single-dose Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine moved one step closer to approval late last week. Following a U.S. Food and Drug Administration advisory panel's unanimous vote, the recommendation now awaits FDA approval. Advisors mentioned growing concern that the J&J &J vaccine, as it's commonly called, appears to provide less protection over time than the Pfizer and Moderna shots. With the data that they're seeing about the waning of immunity, as well as the advantage of boosting people at different age groups. So the data we're starting to see from Israel indicates that even in the somewhat younger group, for example, from 40 to 60, there's a real benefit in getting the booster shots. Fauci added that the United States will accordingly modify vaccine recommendations in parts of the country amid increasing mandates by both public and private employers there have been protests against vaccine mandates like at this boeing plant in washington state republican texas governor greg abbott recently issued an executive order banning mandates defying calls from president joe biden for all companies with at least 100 employees to require a vaccination or undergo regular testing Republican Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson says he does not support banning mandates by employers, although he opposes mandates imposed by the federal government. The states are sometimes coming in and saying employers should not have the ability to impose a vaccine requirement on their workers. To me, that's the wrong direction as well. It's not practical in terms of creating that debate, but it's not principled either. Meanwhile, Friday's FDA panel recommendation would apply to all J&J &J recipients aged 18 and older at least two months after their initial vaccination. The measure follows the White House's plans announced in August for a widespread booster campaign. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News.